All right, guys, I'd say welcome back to the shop, but we got like an odd away game going on here. I'm in some dude's uh, little shed and uh, pretty much looking at uh, his ATV. Told me his winch wasn't working. Uh, this is an odd setup for a winch, but it's essentially the same as every other winch you're going to get. This winch is obviously mounted to the plow where normally it'd be mounted up here. So first thing I'm going to do really is just look around and check connections and stuff like that. You know, see if there's any major corrosion in here. Anything that like really totally sticks out at me. All right, so I'm just trying to do like a real simple diag on this thing. I'm gonna have to take it to my house if I can't figure anything out quick with it. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is just, I'm using my multimeter and checking for a voltage at the two outlet pins. And you could do the same thing if you had um, like the bolts hanging off the, the winch there. So you could, um, I don't have a third hand obviously, but if I were to press that, um, if I were to press the winch controller, it I get no voltage. So um, obviously I gotta start tracing it back. Okay, so we're back at the shop. Uh, I needed to do a few other things on this uh, on this machine, like oil change and seasonal maintenance and whatnot. So I just decided I'd bring it back anyway and look further at it here. So I think where I left off was that um, we're checking the switch on the. Um, for the winch so you obviously got your switch up here and uh the key will have to be on depending on how it's wired i mean I, you know it's always going to work if it's on it might not work if it's off so um depending on how the relay block is wired you should see either power or ground being switched at these two leads coming off the switch right because that what that's going to do is it's going to energize either one of these relays this isn't the conventional setup but it's one of them i'll show you the conventional setup in a few so i'm going to put my test light in here and like i said i should either see power or ground at this test light when i switch okay so this is uh shooting power to the relay so you can see I got power one way, and you can pretty much assume the switch is good at this point, but let's just switch, check the other side. And the other side lights up. So that's, I guess, the out circuit. So moving on to something else, probably the relay. Okay, so I noticed the relays weren't clicking, and that's kind of a telltale sign that you'll end up having, uh, you, you know, your relays are bad. But I want to double check and cover all my bases and make sure that the grounds are good at the relays, because obviously the relays aren't going to click if there's no ground. So I'm just going to check check for ground in these two on all the black wires. A lot of times the uh, the high amperage wire is tied to the, to the low amperage wire. Okay, so we got ground there. Sometimes it can be a little finicky, but it looks, so we got ground there. And what I'm, I'm obviously just testing continuity between, uh, between ground and these black wires. Okay, so we can pretty much assume that the relay is bad at this point because the grounds are good and you're getting power to them and they're not clicking. And that's very typical. The way this one's set up, this is basically a headlight relay, meaning that I mean, this is exactly what you're going to find at your car in your car. Okay, so relays almost always have uh, diagrams on the back of them. What all this means is that if you apply voltage from 86 to 85, it's going to activate the magnet and pull the contact from 30 to 87. So now you have continuity from 30 to 87. So basically what this relay is telling you is that you can go when it's unenergized, 30 to 87A is closed. And when it's energized, 30 to 87 is um, is closed. Okay, so right now I'm applying power from 85 to 86. And you can actually hear it click. Um, when I was playing with it a little earlier, it was clicking sometimes and it wasn't clicking others. So I can feel it click, but that's not necessarily enough. It, you got to test continuity between the other two pins because sometimes it just doesn't make a good contact the contacts are junk and it, it, it depends so i'm going to test continuity from 30 to 87 a and i don't have continuity so that would mean this relay is bad like i said this is a good example because even though it's clicking it doesn't necessarily mean it's actually working 
So I also told you I'd show you uh, a conventional relay setup. So this is a, all your Harbor Freight winches, all like the Badlands, a Warren. This is actually a Warren winch. Um, most ETVs, everything. So um, this is exactly what you're looking at. Um, these are the same two wires in as I showed you before. And then these are the same two wires out um, on the other winch. So, uh, you know, yellow and blue. So what it's obviously just going to do is switch polarity back and forth, which reverses the motor. And then you have a power and ground in here. So basically what you'd be looking for if you were testing this would be um, voltage across these two pins if the switch in fact works. So that's basically all you're looking for. Obviously you want to check all your grounds first. And, uh, you know, there's really nothing different between, you know, a two headlight relay setup and this setup. Okay, so since I can't figure out how to screen record, um, we're just going to record a screen. I just wanted to show you the typical wiring for like a Jeep or an ATV or anything like that. So you could actually see it on a wiring diagram rather than, you know, some relay I pulled out of the scrap bin. Um, so you have your battery and you have power coming in and that hits your hot terminal right there and then ground and it pulls it through the winch just so you don't have obstructed current you just have a straight line like a home run from the battery and then you get the power to the uh, remote and then you either go to and then when you switch you either go from a blue or the yellow which I, I can't remember which is which it doesn't really matter when you're diagnosing it for the most part unless you're trying to figure out why it's going in or out or whatever then you uh, you generally have ground to that just so you can like light up the winch uh, remote or something like that you see that on higher end winches and then obviously inside this relay you're just gonna get uh, in it um, switching current for the motor uh, these relays tend to make like a big chunk when you when you engage them or energize them so that should be pretty easy for you to see and this is very standard for whatever you're gonna see on like a truck or a Jeep so um, thanks for watching I hope uh, I hope it helped